So here's the fuel cell I'm going to be using. This is just a cheap 10 gallon fuel cell off eBay. It's aluminum. Just comes with the fill hole. So what I did was I added a hole over here, and this is four inches in diameter. And it matches the gasket for a stock fuel sending unit. So this outer diameter right here is also four inches or whatever some metric equivalent is. So what I did was I made this plate. And this plate basically just beefs it up. It's 3 8 inch thick, another four inch hole. And then I've got a bolt pattern around the edge here. One is to bolt it to this fuel cell and the other one is to bolt the fuel pump in. So I've got this all prepped. stock sending unit. I think this was from a Tahoe. So this goes in and this is the stock ring from the tank and then I drilled and tapped some holes that line up with the stock locking points. Then show you down on the inside. The pickup is in the middle rear right near the bottom. It's sort of near that stock sump but not really down in it. So then the nice thing about this stock fuel sending unit is this plastic housing, I guess we'll call it, acts as a baffle. So the way it works is this is the return line and it goes down that stainless tube down into the bottom of this, but not outside of it. So it'll basically keep this, it'll keep this housing kind of full with the return and then the pickup sock with it oriented like this. It's right in the center of the fuel cell. And then I wish I would have paid attention to what vehicle this came out of because it sits and it sits right there. This is like the perfect depth. I didn't have to modify anything for this thing. So I think it was a like an 04 Tahoe or something, but I'll have to check, see if I can figure out what it is. It's got a part number on it, if anyone recognizes what that's from. But that's it. So once that cures, I'll bolt all this back together and fuel tank is done.